Good morning, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my kitchen. So today is an exciting day. I am giving you my Thanksgiving um, suggestions, kind of inspiration. Today I'm actually having a friend over. We're gonna do a little Friendsgiving. Originally I was gonna be having my two best friends over, but one of them isn't feeling well, so she won't be coming today. Um, but we're gonna have some fun and do a little bit of some twists on more traditional ideas of Thanksgiving food. I'll have some lighter options, some options that are a little more gluten friendly, and just some stuff that I know is gonna be absolutely delicious. I've got my coffee made, so that's always the first thing, and honestly, mornings like this really bring me back to my childhood because my mom is a cook, if you guys didn't know that, she has a channel as well and shares some of her good old recipes that were, you know, stuff that we ate when we were kids and she also experiments with new things, but this kind of brings me back to mornings when I know that she was up before us for holidays and things like that. She was getting things ready the night before and now I am in those shoes, but I'm totally okay with that. There's just something really satisfying about cooking for your family and friends and it's so much fun when their face lights up and they really enjoy the dish that you've made. A little tip when you're preparing a meal and especially if you're the one doing most of the cooking. Um, I like to kind of figure out what protein I'm gonna make, if I'm gonna make one or two of them and then where I'm going to be making it. So you have to think about what you have to work with. Do you have a crock pot? Do you have your oven, your stove top? You know, um, I have an air fryer, I have a pressure cooker. And so you can kind of designate some of those different things for specific dishes. And also think ahead a little bit on what you can prepare beforehand what you want to make the day of. There are things that you can put in your freezer that can be popped in the oven on the day of the holiday or your get together or whatever you're doing. So a little bit of preparation and thinking about where you're going to be making each thing and what you're going to be making is definitely important. Another little thing to go along with that is you can look up how, what temperature things need to be baked at and for how long and you may be able to bake two dishes at the same time in the oven. Okay, I just had to grab my planner so I could read off what I'm making today <laughs> because I wrote it all down in a list. Okay, so the first thing on the list is air fryer garlic herb turkey breast and this is a great option if you don't wanna make an entire turkey but you still wanna have turkey and I am so excited to try this out. The picture that went along with the recipe looked absolutely delicious and I haven't done much meat to like bigger portions of meat in the air fryer. So I think this is gonna be really great and it only takes 40 minutes. So I think that this would be a good one if you're pinched for time as well. The next thing on the list is pecan roasted carrots and those will be going in the oven. They look pretty simple but really delicious. They kind of have the sweet and salty thing going on. And then I'm going to be doing some loaded scalloped potatoes. I decided to replace the traditional mashed potatoes with some loaded scalloped potatoes. And then for dessert, we're gonna do the apple crisp bars that I had done last month. And I told you guys that there's a good chance that it will be made again over Thanksgiving because it was the perfect combination of a bar or almost like a pie crust or like bringing a crust and apple crust together. I don't know, it had all the good things going on. So we've got that and some vanilla ice cream. And then also to go along with the meal, I'm going to be pulling some of the apple butter that I made last month out of the freezer and I grabbed some store-bought rolls that we'll be eating that one. I will be sure to link the video below where I made the apple butter in case you're interested in doing it. It's super simple, all you need is a crock pot and it's really delicious. It's also something that's great to give us gifts over the holidays. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got a lot to pull together. I'm hoping I can get this meal made up in the next two to three hours, we will see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to start out by just looking over my list and seeing what needs the most preparation and start there. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna throw together here is the actual crust for the apple crisp bars. Just because it only takes a few minutes um, to bake up 
and then what I'll do is I'll fill it with the apples and the topping and everything and then it takes an hour so since the other things I need to put in the oven will take an hour we will take the crust out let that cool bake let everything bake for an hour um, my other things and then while we're eating I will let this bake so when we're done eating this will come out of the oven hot we can have ice cream with it it'll be perfect I always love having a hot bar dessert thing whenever I've got guests coming. It's just the best, delicious, most decadent way to have a dessert. Another really quick note I wanted to make about these bars is it does call for regular flour. I'm just making a gluten-free version, um, but you can use regular flour and I'm telling you guys, you need to make these bars for you over the holidays. They're just one of the best recipes that I've ever made when it comes to the line of bars. Okay, so now that we've got all of our elements that go into the scalloped potatoes, we're gonna layer them in. My friend is here and he's helping me out, so if you see other hands and <laughs> things going on, it's just her helping me out here. So uh, we're gonna spray this and then we're gonna layer in the potatoes, the white sauce I made it sitting over on the stove, and the bacon and the cheese. I feel like this could be a really great crowd pleaser and everyone would enjoy it. Okay, so now that the potatoes are in the oven, I'm gonna quickly put these in because they should all get done right around the same time. So I peeled up the carrots and I'm just gonna put them over here on a cookie sheet and then I think you put a little brown sugar, drizzle some olive oil, they're pretty simple to make. And then we'll make up the candied pecans that will go across the top of them when they're done being uh, roasted.
All right, so now we are going to put the turkey into the air fryer. I'm so excited to see how this turns out, how it tastes. So I had a little bit of a hard time finding just what was labeled as regular turkey breast. But I think this is basically the same thing. It's just how it's cut and everything. But it's a turkey breast tenderloin. And I've got butter that's melted up here. I'm going to be putting some thyme and some rosemary. You're supposed to use fresh thyme, but I could not find it at the grocery store right now. Um, so I'm going to mix this all together. Press some fresh garlic in here as well. Pat these down with salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put these into a big bowl and dump the butter mixture over kind of toss it around in there with the turkey breast and then set them in the air fryer and they will be in there for about 40 minutes. guys we had such a great day today the food was absolutely delicious completely phenomenal um, I didn't know if I had any notes to give you guys about it all maybe one thing that I would suggest with the potatoes is it was a little harder to get them to cook evenly because I didn't use my mandolin to slice them so when you're gonna slice them be super particular to make sure that you get them the same amount of thinness or thickness um, whenever you're slicing them or use a mandolin to 
slice them so that they're even. I have one, I just didn't think about using it for that today. Um, so that would be one little tip I have for you. And all of this makes excellent leftovers. It was really, really good. Also, I would highly recommend that turkey recipe. It was really delicious. In fact, we were talking about being able to make it again and slice it really thin and use it for turkey sandwiches, which I think could work out so well. Corey is out there warming up leftovers. Anyways, I am going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. I will link all of the recipes below. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.